guys, how's it going? So, the game finally, finally worked with me, and after unlocking this crossbow for about the fifth or sixth time, it actually took and stayed unlocked and allowed me to equip it, and that was the thing beforehand, it wouldn't even let me equip it, but now I got it, got it leveled up, we got it 29, and it's only got one attachment. I'm not quite sure why it's showing... Uh, the whole five attachment slots there, but like compared to all the like or, uh, the launcher that we got, you know the uh, the grenade launcher, uh, you know it doesn't have any uh, you know attachment uh, boxes for it, and neither does any of the melee weapons. So I don't know if they have a plan to add attachments for this thing in the future, since it's just the one, and then that's like the standard default for like all the weapons on here. It's just the five slots. But with that being said, the uh, one attachment that you can is an optic, and we got the Hawksmoor, Microflex LED, Mill Stop Reflex, and Quick Dot LED. So I definitely recommend throwing on an opt, like one of these optics on there. It's really personal preference. I do prefer the Microflex LED on this one. There's not a huge, uh, like a huge advantage between this one and like this one in particular. If anything, they're all basically the exact same. So it is just personal preference. Um, I didn't like have to wait until I got the uh, till I got my mastery camo. Deal. I've already like took and really steamrolled through these. Um, but so I mean, I'll have DM Ultra for on it very soon. But uh, it wasn't necessary because, I mean, this thing right here is just going to be, like, you know, in uh, in Modern Warfare, we've really seen the uh, the crossbow as, like, a primary weapon in and of itself. And in this, you know, in this case, we have it as a secondary. So it does play more or less like a secondary. And I can, I can kind of understand why they didn't add in the other attachments because, like, the reload time on this is, it's, you know, it's not fast, but it's still not super slow. Uh, but, you know, they could have added in more attachments to where, you know, you got a speed loader of some kind or whatever. Uh, you know, a laser option. Uh, there's a lot of things they could have done with it that they didn't do. And I think I realized why. And it's just because it's got to be balanced because it is a one-hit kill, period. So, uh, I mean, there's really not a lot more to say. The only thing I will make sure I recommend is like, if you're looking to use this and level it up, meaning it's going to be your primary as it's about to be here for me, um, make sure you have Perk Greed on, you have Gun Ho. Gun Ho is going to be one of your biggest ones, and Scavenger, because you have a very limited number of bolts, so being able to take and scavenge up ammunition is going to be big if you're going to try to really, you know, progress a lot in each game. Uh, and then, like I said, Ghost and Gun Ho. Gun Ho is big because it helps with your slide accuracy, like, so, you know, if you slide and you need to get, like, a hip fire shot off, it really helps with that. And then everything else just our usual that we rock and roll with, so... Let's take and hop into a match of Nuketown 24-7 and go Daryl on these bad boys like, you know, Daryl from The Walking Dead. If you watch The Walking Dead, you know what I'm talking about, but let's do it. And we got hard points. We'll get to take and spend a nice little minute or two with this here crossbow. Now, you know, it ain't really the best option for playing an objective game mode, so if anything, we'll just kind of take and back her up and see, uh, you know, how we, can, how we can assist in keeping people off the objective to an extent. Um, but this is not, you know, this is like not a high kill weapon. This thing right here is all about singling into penis in my toaster, brothers. Uh, it's about singling individuals out. And, like, this thing does have good range with little fall off. Like, that's the, when, when, like, on Modern Warfare with the crossbow on there, there's a lot of attachments where you could, like, affect, you know, the, the velocity of the bolt, the accuracy. Uh, you know, you had uh, the the, uh, the speed loader options and all this other stuff. And with this, it's just cut dry. It is what it is. I don't understand why that did not hit that man, but, um... So, I mean, it's already got, like, great velocity. I mean, if, you, if you're if you comfortable running this thing iron sights, by all means, go for it. But I, I feel like having an optic does make a difference. And i got to get warmed up because I just have hot back on. So, give me one second. Where'd that guy go? God, I, I hate whenever I go from just, like, seeing somebody to, to not seeing them. Not to mention, we also kind of have uh, some lag spikes coming our way. But it, ain't nothing but it ain't nothing but a thing. We got, look at that. Bop, there it is. As long as we can kind of time these little lag... Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got a guy up top trying to be Batman. What are you going to do? It's, five, it's also five, uh, 4.30 in the morning on a nice Tuesday. And here's a little update, a little service announcement, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got to apologize for the false alarm on uh, the podcast, like the first episode being up on Monday, because uh, they sent me the wrong tracking number for my order, and the tracking number they sent me showed the order being delivered to its uh, destination uh, Friday, like yeah, on Friday, so... That didn't happen, but I got the right tracking number, and according to the good old people at FedEx, the uh, that stuff should be here today, being Tuesday, 
And you know, like I said, it'll probably take me a day or so to set it up and then uh, hopefully get the first episode out ASAP. So if all goes well um, and there's no more there's no more hiccups on the, rather on their end or my end, I hope to have the first episode up by the end of Thursday. So once again, if you didn't know already, uh, launched the podcasting channel. Going to be doing a bunch of neat, fun, cool, funny stuff over on there. The link is in the description, in the video description down below. Uh, it's Pro Caliber Podcast, so if you want to go ahead and uh, subscribe. With the, like I said, the first episode at the time of this video being made is not up yet, but that is going to change very, very soon. So that's going to be... God dang it, screw me sideways, bro. It's going to be uh, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a good time. I'm looking forward to doing that. Something I've been like planning and contemplating for a while. Just hadn't like I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, bite the bullet, get the equipment, figure out how to use it, get it set up the way I want it to, and like my 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 area that I'm gonna be doing it will be here in my office where I got all my other stuff at. And I do plan to have a more uh, uh, not necessarily permanent because like I'll change it from time to time, but a more um, professional looking setup than what the the very first uh, initial few are gonna consist of. But it's not like, as far as audio quality and, and video quality itself, it's going to be top notch. So, like, it ain't, it ain't one of those things where it's going to be uh, poor quality. It's just not, um, it's just more relaxed. It's more um, casual. There we go. That's the word to look for. It's more, it's, it's going to be a very casual, laid back setup. So, and but and whenever whenever that launches, hit me up with any suggestions, any things uh, in particular that you want, would like for, uh, you know to see, like for me to incorporate. Like, like in, in your opinion, what's your ideal uh, length for a podcast? Like, if uh, when it comes to one that's a combination of video and audio, because at, at first I'm just going to be um, releasing them on the YouTube channel. Like, I'm not going to do like I, I'm, I'm not going to set up the Spotify and all the other garbage um, until it until I grow it a little bit. Um, because I'm mainly, like, I'm somebody, I mainly just like the ones that, uh, you know, include, god dang, I'm out here just straight up 9-11 and then, and then, okay, that's the thing about an objective match and then whenever you're lagging your tits off and you got, you got something that shoots a projectile that takes two and a half seconds to get there and somebody's shoving a street sweeper in your mouth, what can you do? I mean, this is not, this is not one of those weapons, like, if you play really slow and passively, you can, uh, easily, like, have, have some good high games. Um, but just the amount of time it takes to reload, and the fact you can only deal with one person at a time, and we're on a map that is, very, I mean, you know, this is a small map, so you're, you're going to be constantly running into people, you're going to be getting cross-fired on, and then there it is. We got the man coming out here shooting me between the eyes with old snipper rifle. But it is fun to use, bro. The, the crossbow is very enjoyable to use. I, I, the, I like the Modern Warfare crossbow a lot more than this one, just for the sheer fact that it, this one lacks a lot of customization options, and there's no reason why they couldn't have thrown that in here, even if they had to, like, mess with how, you know, how this thing functions, uh, like, default, like, you know, just to count its default damage and velocity and everything else. Um, not hating on it, though. Still fun to use. Hello, game? Can you lag any harder? What just happened? I just sat there and moonwalked every direction, but, like, but backwards. Oh, just to get shot. There's the man. Let's take and pop him out of the way before he shoots us in the head again. Where's this guy over here playing on the picket fence? Uh, at least we got a UAV because I got I got all the UAV stuff up because I got to get that's one of the um, the camo things you got to do where it's like kill enemies that are stunned or detected or whatever. So, bop there it is. This now this thing's got some of the best hit fire accuracy though, um, like compared to the modern warfare cross. But this thing's hit fire accuracy is just on point. Like it's a laser basically just where your reticles at. Uh, that right there shot to the left. That uh, that I came close to snagging that boy too. Okay, that is C4. Do not appreciate that. Please peek it again, brother. Peek it again, brother. Bop, there it is. Is that the man again? Nope, somebody else got the man. Yes, hip fire again. Let's, let's get this, uh... Oh, I, I, I screwed the pooch on that one. My apologies, ladies and gentle titties. But yeah, now, at this end, at the time now, there's only a day and like 20 hours or something until uh, we got season throw at the end of this battle pass, which means, you know, sometimes they've had the battle pass in and not launched a new season for like a week or so, just to, like depending, and then like they've also had it to where, you know, it launches on schedule we got 17 percent packet loss you gotta love it you gotta love it. if it we need the challenge no it's like we're just we're we're we're, we're too ah oh, we're too gay apparently but we're too hot with it you know what i mean they have to slow us down any way they can now i'm hoping uh since this thing ended up working out what i disagree come here okay and there's a spaz did he just night okay no tomahawk me um 
I'm hoping that since the crossbow let me unlock it and actually get it, that the uh, the new sniper will now allow me to have it also. So that's something that I'll be kind of chilling with, like trying to figure out tomorrow. I mean, most if my oh if my podcasting equipment gets here tomorrow, uh, most of my time's gonna be spent trying to uh, you know get that set up, experiment, like just really get a good understanding on how all of that works and how I'm going to like to implement it. So I'm not gonna have a uh, a lot of time over the next day or two until season three comes out to really do a lot of grinding because I've got to get my uh, I gotta get my garden stuff ready. I gotta plow up the field and do all that, and then uh, I really probably Wednesday night um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go camping and or rando night, and I need to do like I've been meaning to do that, but just been really busy. Um, and then what else? What else? I know there's something else that I'm forgetting. See that that that. Oh yeah, and then I'm I'm also going to be getting stuff together. Probably going to have a big bonfire this Friday night uh, if all goes according to plan. So, you know, I'm just trying to take advantage because this week right here is going to be one of the last few weeks where it's going to like be pretty cool. Uh, like Wednesday, it's going to get down to 32 at night, and then the rest of the nights this week it's going to be in the low 40s. So, I want to enjoy that last little bit of you know cool, nice, breezy weather while I can because. Before you know it, the 85, 90 degree days are going to be here just making a sweater nuts off. And I'm not looking forward to that aside from a few from a few hobbies uh, that, you know, I, I take and engage in. But most of the time, I'm going to be in the house until uh, until until the sun gets down and it, and it cools off in the evening. So, that's, that's I mean, like I said, I think that's all. Look at that, baby. Nice little across the, across the pond shot on that man. Come on through the house, boys. Where's the, what are the spawns doing? Oh, we got one over there. Bop. What, dude? What is happening right now? I, I can't tell if I'm if some of these are missing because I'm lagging or if I'm just if I'm off my game right now because I was so lasered in. Look how negative I'm going. Uh, I was so lasered in earlier, um, but that's what I get for hopping on. You know, after not playing for five hours and being awake, you know, for a considerable amount of time. But like, I mean, you know, I, I gotta take and throw them excuses out there. Just you know, to take and hold up my reputation. You feel me? What is it? My eye. There it is. But all in all, yeah, this um, th and this crossbow, I was able to level up really fast. I used a couple double uh, weapon XP tokens. But the lobbies earlier today, the connection was great, and I would have done, I would have recorded this video earlier, like when I was like really, you know, zoned in, and I like had my muscle memory just completely zoned in to uh, like to, to using this weapon, but. I just, I, at first I thought I was going to do like what I've done with all my other ones and not show the weapon until I completed the DM Ultra Camo. Not that that matters, but it just shows you that, you know, by the time I do that, normally that's like not long after I've got all the attachments unlocked and tried out a bunch of different variations. But with this, there's one variation, and it's what I was using the whole time that I was working on the weapon. So definitely have enough games under the belt to, uh, to you know, kind of give some insight and opinion on how this, uh, this here crossbow Functions. I'm kind of surprised that they threw it in the special category. Well, not surprised, but um, the fact they put it in the special category instead of putting it in like the uh, the marksman rifle, like tack rifle category. I mean, it, it's a little different on here because it's tactical rifle, so you know, it's, I, I, I can kind of see why they done it that way. But just having it as a secondary feels a little. Honestly, I also don't know how to feel about it because I'm just so used to having the crossbow as a primary, so. We'll see. We'll see. You know, you never you, you never know what kind of things are going to take and flip up and change we. So, um, I'm curious to see what like what all season three is going to have to offer because I've heard that they're going to be doing that thing with Warzone. Uh, instead of giving us a new map, they're just going to be like redoing Verdansk in like a different time period. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% confirmed yet, but that's just like what I've heard. So who knows? But looking forward to it either way. Get some new weapons up in here. Get some that. We'll get some new zombie action. Because uh, I'm really, we really need some new zombie action, bro. They've been, they've been kind of slow on the, oh, on the release of the zombie content. Zombie. What in the actual tits that guy's? Um, yeah, they've been a little, little slow on the zombie stuff. So looking forward to it. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get this video edited and uploaded. And then I'm gonna go crawl into bed and you know dream about gummy bears and flipping unicorns and everything else that a 21 year old man dreams about so as always guys thanks for watching be sure that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already show your friends until the next one adios